everyone, it is Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. The science experiment that I am going to show you today involves an egg, and we are going to turn this raw egg into a bouncing egg. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is take a glass, and you're going to slowly and carefully put your egg inside it so it doesn't break. Then you're going to take some vinegar, white vinegar, and pour it over top of the egg. Now you're going to wait. We're actually going to wait a day and then we're going to come back and check on the egg. Okay, so it has been about 24 hours since we put our raw egg into our vinegar and if we examine the egg, we see that there are still a lot of bubbles on the shell and it is still primarily white. When the egg is ready, to be a bouncy egg, it will be translucent in color. So, our egg is not ready yet. So what we're going to do is we are going to wait another 24 hours and check back on the egg then. We are back to check on our bouncy egg science experiment. So it has been three days since we put the egg into the vinegar, so let's check on, in on it. So the first thing you're going to notice is the egg itself is swollen. The other thing you'll notice is there's still a lot of bubbles around the egg itself. And also, if you turn the egg, or turn the glass, and you can take a look at the place on the egg where it's been rubbing up against the glass itself, it has started to turn translucent in color. So at this point, we are ready to take the egg out of the vinegar and rinse it underneath some tap water. So as you notice, when I was rinsing the egg under the water, I was gently rubbing the outside of it to remove the white film that was left on the egg. So now the egg is entirely translucent in color. You'll also notice that when you squeeze it, it kind of feels rubbery, like a bouncy ball. So now let's see if it bounces. And when we do this, we're going to want to keep it kind of low to the, the area that we're bouncing it. We don't want to drop it from too high of a height. Now, do you want to know what happens when you do drop it from a high height? Be sure to watch to the end of the video. So let's bounce some more. Do you know how we were able to turn a raw egg into a bouncing egg? Leave a comment below to submit your guess and then visit CoolScienceExperimentsHeadquarters.com to find out the answer. You'll be able to print out instructions for this science experiment and find many more fun experiments that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching everyone! We'll see you next time!